68 inches set during the 2010-2011 season. The Mammoth Resort has, wow. oh yeah, look at that, has so much snow, it will be open at least through July. This 10 News Pinpoint Weather Report is sponsored by Anderson Plumbing, Heating and Air. Nobody wows clients like we do. Some beautiful powder I, and I, there's I, a lot of it. I couldn't tell. Was that you in that snowsuit? <laughs> Not uh, that time. That wasn't you? Okay. <laughs> she was right behind that person. <laughs> right. And Thank the you. video Enjoy. is incredible. You're probably going to find it on Instagram. <laughs> it was a an unsettled day with rain once again all around the county. Totals between a quarter of an inch or close to it in downtown San Diego to just over half an inch in Fallbrook and Otay and of course much more in areas like Palomar Mountain and Mount Laguna where we have seen a changeover. We can expect an additional half an inch to an inch of rain by the time this system is all said and done. So what's happening right now? The latest cold front is making its way out of the county and now we're tapping into the low pressure system or the area of more instability closer to the center of the storm. We do have a few showers moving through the North County and another one making its way into Del Mar. You can see not everyone along the coast is seeing the rain is still offshore, but it's going to be moving east. And as we go farther east, finally drier in Alpine. It was unsettled most of the afternoon and most of the county is drier as the cold front moves out. But the hourly breakdown, of course, brings a chance once again overnight into tomorrow morning. And really the chance will continue through at least five o'clock for San Diego, but for the rest of the county into the evening hours. Snow accumulations expected as well with up to eight to nine inches in areas like Mount Laguna and Palomar Mountain. So we'll continue tracking the storm as it continues moving south. It should clear out of the area by Friday and there could be another system also early next week that may bring the chance for a few showers as well. So as we look at the conditions here, Tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up to 40s. We're going to see those waves of showers, isolated thunderstorms possible through at least 5 o'clock in the afternoon in downtown San Diego. And it is going to be in the 50s for the game. Most likely temperatures will average between 57, 59 degrees. And it's been a long time since we've had this kind of weather, especially since the last couple of years. We were actually talking about warmer conditions and even some 70s and 80s for the home opener. But that's not the case. The last time we had temperatures in the 50s was 2008 58 degrees for tomorrow. So a cool day with gusty winds ranging from 20 to 30 miles per hour for anyone arriving early. It is going to be gusty all the way through the early part of the afternoon, improving in the evening, mid 60s Friday. The weekend looks good with temperatures warming up. Even our mountains should be back to near 60 degrees. Talk about a difference from tomorrow to Sunday. Tomorrow will be such a cold day around the county yeah. is going to average between 10 to 25 degrees below normal. It is going to feel like another winter day, but spring returns this weekend. Something to look forward to, but tomorrow a day to bundle up. Yeah, so yeah especially for anyone going to the Padres game, yes. wear some layers. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Angelica. Talk